Hello, and welcome to your Wholesome Direct for 2020. Your one-stop shop for all the coziest games about to come out in the 2020-21 financial year. Today I'm joined by Keith. Say hi, Keith. Hello there. I'm also joined by John and Rose. Hello. Welcome. Hello. And Good joining morning, us Raffin. on the, the far side of the screen is the Sleeping Kitten. Say hi, Sleeping Kitten. Oh, Hello, Sleeping Kitten. It's, it's, just, it's, yeah. just, uh, it's just having a little snooze over there. Don't don't bother it. Don't use soft voices, everyone. So, uh, so Rose, what, what are you looking forward to from this uh, completely wholesome direct? Well, you see, I'm looking forward to losing basically all of my money on every single one of these games. Yes. Uh, all of I John's imagine... money is going to these games as well, so that I can get all of them. Hello, I'm John. My wallet is crying on the inside and out. It just I... doesn't know yet. I imagine by the end of this 40 minutes, many of our bank accounts will be irre irreparably damaged. Um... I was unaware this was 40 minutes long. My wallet <laughs> is now walking out the door looking for a car to be ran over by. Wow. <laughs> From what that we won't know, help it though, because it's all electronic. I can just sign into your last pass, and then I'll be <laughs> able to spend all of your money still. So it's fine. I've got this covered, guys. From what we know, at least at least fifty games to be shown today. Uh, a few we know about, uh, such as like Little Witch of the Forest, Chicory, Ooblets, uh, Keith. Uh, what are you most looking forward to out of the games that we know about? Honestly. Little Witch in the Woods. Mm. Tell me more. Tell me more. I'm just looking for that slice of life aesthetic of playing as a little witch, helping my forest creatures. Yeah. Maybe maybe go around, see, solve some quests. Maybe help a, oh, yeah. a woman out with some, some potions and whatnot. Uh, to me, I'm looking forward to, to Chicory, which is a game where you play as a little dog, just a little dog, tiny little dog, and you, you have a magic paintbrush in your you're bringing color back into the world. A world that's turned black and white. I don't know how much longer I can keep this bit up. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to struggle. <laughs> I don't, I don't what are you talking, talking about? about <laughs> this is not wholesome and not wholesome reaction. This is the most wholesome Bob Ross-esque stream that we will ever do. Probably so. Cozy vibes <laughs> only. We are about two minutes out from the start of this. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to see a lot. Um... I like that we're getting more of these uh, sort of like indie directs, you know, it seems like we're never at a shortage of indie games these days, even though like the world's falling apart. These indie devs yes. are rising up, man, holding their own directs. They don't need no Nintendo. They don't need no PlayStation. You know what I mean? We're going out, we're doing it ourselves, and it's going to be a real good time. If you saw the tweet, they're not even accepting sponsors. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Oh wow, very That's cool. Very nice. They just want wholesome vibes. Don't don't bog it down with any capitalism. Just good games. Shit! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't bog down with capitalism, everyone. This is Playhouse. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> capitalism. The only place where it doesn't exist is in space. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly i think i'm most looking forward to spirit fair mm, yeah that one looks fantastic i got to play the demo i think you played the demo too finn yeah yeah i played the demo they had not the last steams games festival but the one before that i think it was the yeah. first demo they released and yeah I, I played a bit it was good i yeah. enjoyed it yeah i loved uh customizing the the ship and like making all the different rooms on oh it. that's cool yeah, you get to customize oh, everything. That's really cool. And there's cooking. Ooh. You know I'm down. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I didn't get to play that one. Uh, yeah. Just going through the ones they announced. Uh, Book of Travels, I think is what it's called. There's something about the art aesthetic that I actually really like about it. That's yeah. all I got right now. I'm sure there, there's going to there's gonna be one thing in here. I'm like, that's my game. I'm going to do this one. Can't wait. I mean, I'm sure someone making, Why are you making me sad like that? <laughs> what do you mean this is the only wholesome stream? <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? Which yeah, from the games we know about, mm -hmm. the rainy season is something I'm very interested in because the the yeah. concept of like having plans cancelled and not being able to go outside and just spending time <laughs> with your family is just so foreign oh, to me no. right now. You know, it's it's an experience I don't think I've had before, and you know that's why video games are great. You have experiences you don't get to have in your everyday <laughs> life. Um, <Yeah. laughs> so you know, uh, no, just so, you know, wholesome, vibes. Like wholesome vibes, wholesome vibes, yeah. But Full circle. <laughs> yeah. 
What's okay, that going to, oh. The YouTube premiere thing is happening, so that means we're two minutes out. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm going to turn down the line. So I think we're just a little behind. Okay. Yep. I'm about at 1.48. I mean, I think it's cool for this. There's not going to be like a Keanu Reeves cyberpunk situation where we're all going to go, what? It's just going to be, you know. Keanu's <laughs> going to walk out. He's going to introduce rainy season. That's what we don't know. <laughs> That's how you get hype. See, what you didn't know is he actually voices an entire character in Spiritfarer. Yeah. The game that has no voice acting. Dwayne the Rock Ooh. Junction is the little witch. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson in Ooblets. <laughs> yeah. He's an Ooblet. You can farm him. <laughs> He's a rock. <laughs> you just pull him out of the ground and it's like, it doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> That's some low hanging fruit and I enjoy that you went after it. <laughs> Damn it, why did we think of that? <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're all breathtaking. Everyone's Heck breathtaking. Yeah. YouTube needs to change the music for their like thing, uh, mm. their like premiere countdown because it's getting to me. I don't know. I don't hate it. It's, I, Give I, it to I, your house. I'm like, I'm feeling the chill. I'm like, it's nice. Or at least have like a selection, not just the one track, right? Because it's the it's like, if I'm listening to elevator music, I'm gonna feel like I'm in an elevator. No, no. <laughs> they just need. They okay. just need to put the lo-fi beats. Girl on screen. That's, that's, that's yeah. the guy who loves lo fi. Yeah, well, d yeah. okay. <laughs> you know what? Fair <laughs> All right, here we go. Tell me if the audio is okay, chat. I'm going to bump Six, it up just a little bit. Five. We're going to start out with Bob Ross painting. Thanks. That would be amazing. Though. There's another kind. Of <laughs> me. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna put a happy cloud in the corner. We're gonna corner have the we... countdown to the premiere, then the countdown to the sorry, the yeah. countdown to the countdown premiere. Yes. Then the and countdown then our countdown, the <laughs> right? The yeah. countdown we have. She's happy clouds with ten happy clouds, seven happy clouds. And you're like, all right, come on, let's just go. I'm loving this chip tune. Yeah. Oh yeah, I pretty yeah. love this. It's very cute. Skatebird, I forgot about Skatebird. Oh yeah. oh yeah! Welcome to the first ever Wholesome Direct, a celebration of wholesome games. I'm Jenny Windham. And I'm Josh Boykin. Sit back and relax as we bring you exclusive footage and announcements from over 50 games. I want to be those people. <laughs> yes. Hi. Welcome to Wholesome <laughs> Games. I already love you. I love the colorful diorama world of Button City. Um, it's a game about a group of friends trying you. everything it's, they can think of you, to save their local arcade from being shut down. What? It's full of hijinks inspired by 90s kids movies, like The Mighty Ducks and The Little Rascals. Starting off strong. No. I can't wait to see what trouble the Fluff Squad gets into <laughs> when Button City launches this year. Hello. There goes my money. My name is Felipe Cartin, and I'm the lead artist and co founder of True Interact. Our game is called Errand Boy, and it's a story about the end of the world and how a small creature acts on it. You play as what? An orphan boy looking to make a change in himself and find meaning in his last days. We are really excited about the game and I hope we can share more of this with you soon. Stay safe and keep being wholesome. Bye bye. Lightning speed. Hmm, yeah. No, so yeah, I agree.
Oh. Um. Ooh. Music is very hot in time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So cute. Get ready for a special oh. delivery when Errand Boy arrives in summer of 2021. Those puffs of smoke were very wind wakery. Yeah. Q2 2021. <laughs> the skin looks nuts. Early access looblets. Will we see a shadow drop today? You know what? I'm I'm down with it. I say we get one. I would I would love to, but I don't know. <laughs> I I want oh, one. No. Hmm. I mean, some of these indie games can do it. Yeah. True. And some of these have been announced. Like this Ooblets came out or was announced what two years ago on a Nintendo Direct. I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, this one could was be it the Nintendo one. or was it a uh, Xbox? Ooh. I think it was in the Xbox when they announced those like 50 games. Oh, Coming you know, pretty my... soon to the Epic Game Store on Xbox One. No Nintendo announcement. one. Okay, so yeah, you're right. Xbox. Okay. Pretty Okay. Epic Game Store. Mm. Xbox One. Yeah. Kind words. Hey, awesome games fans. We made kind words so that you could write nice letters to each other. Like, take care of yourself. And I know things are hard, but you're not alone. A lot of people have taken time to lift each other up. So thanks to Wholesome Games and all the folks who work hard to be nice to each other, Ella the Deer has a milestone to announce and a peek at our new update, available now. Hmm. Available now. I kind of shadowed her up. Hmm. <laughs> there it is. You're a little bit ahead of us, Finn. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Do you think I should pause it for like a few seconds? No. A room? The sea content this is frog. available now. It's frog. A <laughs> sea captain. And even this round cow. I'll jump into that. I already have that game. Snacko stars former really cool. big city kitties Momo and Mikan Snacko. as they start a new life I love these concepts. The uh, sort of like pixel art flat 2D but in a 3D world. I love Farm seeing that. Yeah. And explore as you unravel the island's mysteries and work to rebuild a community from the ground up. Hmm. Very animal Wholesome Direct viewers are the first to see how you'll raise and befriend these fluffy cows and cuddly chickens. Who doesn't want a fluffy cow? You can pet. You can pet the chicken. Get ready Shadow to say meow today. to Snacko next year. Xbox exclusive. Hi, hi. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh, crap. There we go. No, John. Here's where we lose our money. What are you talking about? It's going to be a her this time. Named Chicory, until one day, she and all her colors vanish, leaving the world black and white. You play as Chicory's number one fan, who takes up her brush and goes on an adventure to color the world back in and find out what happens to Chicory. I remember this one, too. Yeah, me too. This is the one I was excited for. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, mm -hmm. uh -huh. except with paint. I was actually thinking about picking that up on the uh, eShop before the eShop dies for the 3DS. Probably should. Game right of rally. Yeah. 
super cute. Very artistic. This masterpiece yeah. isn't this finished is cool. just yet. Okay, so I didn't want to so like say anything, but they did tease it a little bit in that trailer. So I'll just say like the vibe isn't always like chill. It does get yeah. intense at points. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I remember when they first announced it. There was actually they showed like an actual battle. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hello, my name is Remy. <laughs> I'm Ratatouille. And then I'm going to get these magical powers. Hey, and it I'm, might happen. And I'm going to become Electric Mouse. So you can call me Pikachu, actually. In the spirit and the mouse, you play as Lila, a small mouse that's full of courage. After a fateful encounter with a mysterious spirit, Lila resolves to help troubled villagers the best she can. The spirit and the mouse squeaks out next year. So, Josh, what makes a game wholesome anyway? Great question, Jenny. A lot of people think wholesome games are just cute and colorful. We are seven but there's so games much more deep. than that. Wholesome games let players express love and compassion. Sometimes they're lighthearted, but make no mistake, Wholesome games can tackle even the heaviest subjects. Spiritfarer is a cozy management game about dying. Ah, uh, yes! I was like, is this your game? As fairy uh. master to the deceased, you'll build a boat to explore the world. Care for your spirit friends. And guide them and across the mystical friend. seas. And it's so fluffy. So for fluffy, releasing I them die. into the afterlife. Mm -hmm. Spiritfarer sets sail later this year. Did I get that in the fantasy league, or did you, Rose? <laughs> Some stories. I don't remember. Start with tragedy. Excuse me, just a moment while I go do something. <laughs> <laughs> When does that come out? Spiritfarer this year. Yeah, I just don't remember the date. Oh, there is no date yet. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I never thought about the idea of a mobile game being announced on this. Ah, I didn't hmm. pick up on that and so yeah. yeah, I was like, why we're in this aspect ratio. <laughs> Your friend's perfect. Oh. I hope there's a Gilbert Gottfried mod. Oh god. <laughs> Get the flowers! Takes flight later this year. <laughs> so anyway. Here we go, Nagi. Here we go. From sunny side up in South Korea comes an adorable life sim called Little Witch in the Woods. You play as Ellie, a witch's apprentice. For the next three years, you'll make potions, study magical creatures, <laughs> and help the local townspeople in your journey to become a full fledged <laughs> witch. <laughs> what you're seeing here is exclusive to Wholesome Direct. Aww. Potion book. Her deadpan face is just the best. Oh, I'm gonna love this game. Yeah. This is so cute. A squishy chub? Oh. <laughs> the journey begins next year. Hi, we're something we made, and we're super excited to be a part of the Wholesome Direct. Aww. We're here today to show our game, Toem, a small adventure game where we take photos and help various communities. Hope you enjoy! In Toem, players follow a small figure through Scandinavian-inspired landscapes to witness a magical phenomenon known as Toem. To dig this. Travel by bus as you visit various locations, each with their own architecture. And I can't tell if the home. fuzziness is an aesthetic choice. Listen to calm music, encounter curious characters, and capture each special moment with is. your camera. Yeah, I think it is too. What's <laughs> Pack your bags, Oryx, because Tom is ready to depart it's next so cute. year. So fluffy. Greetings from Co-op. This is Winding Worlds, available now on Apple Arcade. You will find a sweeter, more energetic heroine than Willow, mm. who's been hired by a mysterious cosmic worm to help her friends heal and move on. Some of them may be prickly or difficult, but that doesn't make them any less wholesome, because just like all of us, they're on a journey, and they have a lot to learn. Monument Valley, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. Right. I love Monument Valley. So good. Might need to go back and play it again. So this is on Apple Arcade, so doesn't mean it's like... Exclusive? Yeah, or is it going to the Switch? Hopefully. Oh. I think it might be exclusive to the Apple Arcade. Yeah, like Shantae. Uh, the latest Shantae game like, is only coming out on Thursday, and it's been on Apple Arcade for like the past few months. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, Apple what Arcade. What the golf is uh, now on Switch? I This one caught my eye in the like, promo thing they did at the very beginning. Is it AR, or is just just like what the game looks like? I think this is what I the game looks like. The game. Sick, I think they took actual pictures and videos and stuff, yeah. the characters in there. I freaking hmm. love this. It's a neat aesthetic choice. Uh. No, it's AR. <laughs> oh, <is> it? <laughs> yeah. Toko Toko, Hako and Friends launches today on iOS and Android. 
Hi, we're Toge Productions. We're so excited to show you two of our upcoming wholesome games made by awesome, talented people oh, go. from Mojiken Studio and published by Toge Productions. Before the game features heartwarming stories, beautiful art, and soothing music. We present to you when the past was around and a space for the unbound. From the creator of She and the Lightbearer comes the bittersweet tale of a girl and her lover in a surreal world of disjointed rooms across time and memory. This is when the past was around. When the Past Was Around is a point-and-click adventure game about love, loss, and all the joy and pain in between. It launches later this year. Hmm. Get ready to feel when you play A Space for the Unbound from Mojiken Studio. It's a story about overcoming anxiety and depression as two high school sweethearts in well, 1990 Indonesia feel. <laughs> investigate the supernatural forces <laughs> threatening their small this town. One's super cute too. Uncover secrets, dive into people's minds, and overcome the end of the world together when A Space for the Unbound arrives next year. Book of Travels is a serene online multiplayer RPG that focuses on social role-playing, mm. exploration, and non-linear narratives. It's a very calm game. It's full of everyday life situations, but it also has mystery and conflict. This footage is exclusive to Wholesome Direct. World premiere. World premiere. I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, so this is the one art alone that I want to know about. An online RPG, huh? Mm. Online? Online RPG. Online. We're probably as a TMORPG, so tiny multiplayer yeah. online. Yeah. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm intrigued. Probably limited people in the world. Bye, Orcs. Bye. Have a good day at work. Oh, this is Book of Travels. I guess you can only communicate in these like little pictures. Get ready to write your own story when Book of Travels launches mm. this October. Yeah, Valiant Hearts, that's a good comparison. The, uh, mm. the camera. Hi everyone, I'm Pico. I'm the lead developer of Garden Story. It's my passion project and has been for about two years. I do all Garden the story. art, code, game design, and writing for the game. Garden Story is really just everything that I've wanted to see in video games for a while now. Not just mechanically or design-wise, but also culturally and emotionally. And I'm working really hard to make sure that those things come through in the end. And I hope when it comes out, you'll all enjoy it. In Garden Story, you're the newly appointed village guardian. I want ever. Oh. Explore ways to help those around you, traverse and rebuild a broken island, protect its inhabitants, and make friends with a fruity cast of characters. <laughs> this garden is still being tended to, so keep an eye out for release info. Greetings again from co-op, this time presenting oh, something a bit on the smaller dipping. side. Depanel of Nocturne, a short, atmospheric exploration game by GP Lackey about poking around a convenience store to find the perfect gift for your girlfriend. What could be more wholesome than that? Depanel Nocturne is part of our new in-house publishing initiative, Co-op Mini, so you can expect even more cute yet complex content from us in the future. You're on a rainy late night quest for a very particular gift. <laughs> the only problem is you don't know what it is yet. Finding a corner store open at this hour must be kismet. 
Okay. The perfect gift is sure to find you. Depener Nocturne is open for business on Steam today. Yes. Shadow drop. Magical girls, cat cafes, and cuddly animals. What more could you want? Very large cat. <laughs> Calico is a slice of life community simulation where you're given one very wholesome responsibility. Rebuild the town's cat cafe and fill it with cute and cuddly creatures. <laughs> Pet the dog. The shopkeeper. You can spot you can on cats. PC and consoles this October. I'm Michael P.S. As someone with a lot of anxiety, wholesome games are uh, extremely useful in unwinding and just having a little sigh of relief after a long day. That's got a different kind of comfort that no other medium can really replicate properly. <laughs> rainy season is the story of an ordinary family spending time at home during a storm ah, rainy day oh listen to the rain spend time with your family and see for yourself how an ordinary day can lead to extraordinary moments sign of rain on a window top 10 signs heck yeah <laughs> I'm just watching TV, bro. <laughs> Fine, it's not a problem. Oh. The forecast is still unclear, but look for rainy season on Steam this summer. Wayward Strand is a heartfelt interactive story told in a very curious way. Which? Oh yes, that's me and the family. Your sons? Yes. How old are they now? They're... well, well, there's my husband. It's set in an airborne hospital. Past. Doctors and patients that's move about the ship on their own schedules. On the left there, he's 64 this year. And there's Thomas on the right, who would have turned 60 this year. Rest his soul. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, not at all, dear. Good day, Mr. Mr. Jackson. Hello, Joe. All good in here? As ever. Any unusual pains? Any issues with your knee this morning? Uh, oh, it's a bit stiff, but airborne hospital. It isn't causing me trouble. Ask questions, oh, uncover the airship's mysteries, oh, and explore the lives of its See inhabitants you. when Wayward Strand takes to the sky later this year. It's almost time to say goodbye, but before we go, we'd like to share even more of the wonderful, wholesome games coming your way this year and beyond. Oh, okay, it's gonna be rapid fire, okay. <laughs> oh, Kiwi! <laughs> Very Pokemon esque. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Oh. oh, this one looks so good. Yeah, fold apart for sure. Yeah. Skipper's 2021, okay. 
Gotta wait a little what longer. Is that on Twitch? Or pulled apart, sorry. I could have sport skateboard was already out. There was a demo, but uh, no more than that. It was very, very rough from the demo I played. John Rose, play these so we don't go broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Croc song. Just love the name. <laughs> Litter Daters? I did not realize it's episodic. So episode one is out now. Oh, oh. nice. God, it's going too fast now. Yes. <laughs> oh god. Bomberman. My notes. My notes. a good dog. Uh, we can get you a good dog. Oh no. That's not wholesome at all. That's that's defying God. <laughs> Looks like some sort of gift man farming sim. Oh. Huh. Okay then. Yeah, that farming one looks cute. Roots of Hatcha. I think is what I had. Yeah. Battle cakes? Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. A snack size RPG. Alchemic cutie. Oh my god, there's so many. Another game I'll probably play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All these games of cats <laughs> and dogs. <laughs> You're the cat. Aww. Oh. Aww. Precious dog, make it happen. To the rescue, aww. Okay, that's cute. I like that. Catboy, it is very upbeat music. Yes. It's wholesome. Love it. Wholesome music. If 
can decipher my notes later. I'm just typing them down, praying that I remember this <laughs> game. I won't. I'll probably go back to him like, what was this one again? I'm gonna go through my notes and be like, what did I even mean? For sure, this will take a, uh, a rewatch. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's, what's this game called? What's the robot game? Misk? That was it. Misk. <laughs> Misk. That brings us to okay, the end go. of our program. <laughs> We hope but you please keep in mind, this is like the 50th with. robot game. <laughs> You're the amazing developers who made this event possible. Is that it? Just a follow or a wish list can make all the difference. But, well, there's Except one more. Next year for Wholesome Direct 2021. But until then, here's one last surprise. I need this quarterly. <laughs> I can't remember them all either. Casey, that's where uh, Oryx or Tim would be, but he had to work. Mm -hmm. So you're stuck with us. What are you? Whatever it is, we have to protect it. Yes. yes. By all means. Go, you little weirdo. Uh, that last little bit, Catboy, was just a rapid fire. Yeah. yeah. Some of the other ones, they gave a little room to breathe. Yeah, about 50 seconds. Yeah. Hwa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a god. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Hi, we're Scrocast Studio. Is that out on Hwa. Switch now? Hua is a side-scrolling right. adventure platform Late where you can explore a world of beautiful hand-painted art, listen to awesome music, and experience a calm and relaxing atmosphere. Hua is in active production and will be coming to your PC and your Nintendo Switch in late 2020. See you guys real soon! I mean this wholeheartedly and wholesome. I'm going to remember that game because every time someone says it, I'm going to go, hoo! <laughs> <laughs> but it's hoo. But it's hua. I, I, yeah, I pronounced it as hua. <laughs> That's what hua. they pronounce it as. <laughs> Did you notice that uh, she never actually said hua? They always had it dubbed over? Yeah. So was... it must be called something different. Yeah, in, working title. Or, yeah. Yeah. Love you all. Even the credits are wholesome. <laughs> That's so awesome cute. Direct. Yeah, really, really, really good. Um, I think at the end I was a bit uh, overwhelmed by just like yeah. how many games there were. Like I think uh, when they said they were gonna go into like the rapid fire mode, I had like number game number twenty five down, and I was like. Did they just lie about how many games there were gonna be? No, they went over fifty for sure. They had like fifty-five. Um, but yeah, I just like really struggled to keep track of all of them. Yeah. Well, like they said that there were gonna be fifty games on this direct, and I was just like, no, please no. Yeah. Just divide this up. Do it like twice a year. Give us some games and some games. Like uh -huh. twenty-five games for forty minutes would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think it's it's all right. I'm all right with some of the uh, like later entry entries only being quick because we the way things are working now, E3 is like all up in the air. We do have a lot of these like other indie showcases like Gorilla, um, what what's it called, Gorilla Interactive or Gorilla Showcase yeah. or something. Gorilla like, Collective, yeah. Gorilla Collective, yeah, and the kind yeah. of funny game showcase and stuff like that. So um, you know there there is a lot of room for these games to like have their time to shine if they if they're ready to show. Uh, you can't just like bunch up everything here, but we did get some deep-ish looks into some cool stuff at the start, especially. Uh, yeah. Rose, what stood out to you the most out of all the games, if you can remember? I mean, I'm still super excited about Spirit Spiritfarer. Okay. Uh, that is just one of my top games for this year. Yeah, for like, sure. Customizing that boat, cooking, getting to know the spirits, it's fantastic. 
was kind of hoping for a release date on that, but uh, I guess yeah. we'll have to struggle a little longer. Uh, anything new catch your eye that you can think of off the top of your head? Um. Oh, hold on, hold on. There were there were a couple things. <laughs> it's just remembering, right? Because I have them all like on the yeah. list here. But even then, I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, what did the gameplay look like? Yeah. Uh, uh I I'm kind of excited about Snacko cuz I mean Snacko. a snacky cat. Heck yeah. Yeah. Uh and then the museum game looks actually really cool. Mm, yeah. And oh, the Little Witch in the Woods. I'm sorry to steal that from you, Naki, but that's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's talk about that then, Naki. What uh how do you feel about that Little Witch in, in the Woods? It was like pretty short like most things, but like do you think you got a sense of like what the gameplay will feel like and then what you'll be getting into? Yeah, I think it's going to play very similar to like what we have in the farming simulators now, like Stardew mm-hmm. Valley and stuff like that, except, you know, little witch themed. Yeah. It was um it was crazy how many things like aesthetics that were shown today reminded me of Stardew Valley. It's crazy like how much that's inspired yeah. these like developers and artists to like yeah. uh want to emulate that. Um one of the things at the near the start that uh, intrigued me was the the Kind Words DLC drop that's available yeah. today. Uh, I haven't touched that game since like I played for maybe five six hours when I, I first got into it, and like it's not a game that you want to keep coming back to, but like it is interesting little social experiment almost. Um, mm-hmm. So like I'll be interested to see with this new content what they're adding and whether people jump back in so like i'll, I'll definitely try and check that out later today or tomorrow if i can uh yeah. john what stuck out to you from this uh the most uh on i have it because i was like that's the one there were so many because I, I actually knew rose was going to actually say uh yeah, Spirit what, about, what about hua yeah. what about hua at the end it's fresh Aww. in the memory uh it was like i <laughs> thought since that was like their one more thing showcase game they were going to show a little bit more but like yeah. we did get a sense of the vibe uh they did say it was like an adventure platformer so i'm in you know you have my money um yeah. but yeah you're just like this little thing i don't even know what to describe it as i've seen them before it looks like a little um like rain charms they have in japan to like keep the rain away that you could like hang up that sort of thing or am i thinking of something else yeah. actually and and all complete opposite of what just how what they remind me of i remember the uh little gremlins from uh little nightmares remember they had those they yes. were they seemed like they were that big and they had the, the pointy hat it, it looked oh, yeah. like they had the design looked like them just yeah. on the gremlins. tim burton guillermo del toro side not a very wholesome side uh, the other one that I, I didn't think like would catch me but as we kept on watching i'm like wow that's actually really cool was that toem 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 yeah Tell me about the, yeah. the picture taking one. Mm-hmm. Like that's yeah. not my thing, but something about that, I'm like, okay, Maybe. all right. The, the, there, there is more to that than just let me take a selfie, and I, I, I liked that. I, I struggle with that for a bit again because I was like, I definitely did see a fuzziness, and it didn't go away for the whole trailer. And I was just trying to figure out, like, is this a thing they meant to do? Is this just like yeah. low res images they couldn't like fix? It was weird. Um, and I know with like that'll actually be a mobile game then. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it man. reminds me that like um like especially it was crazy that like all these indie game developers had something to show because like the situation in right right now um like big studios like Ubisoft and EA are able to like transition pretty easily into to working from home, yeah. but there are others that just just uh like the smaller indie studios they're like not able to adjust to that there were mm-hmm. a few indie sh- studios i read that because of lockdown because of not being able to um like m- get to e3 or gdc and meet these people they need to sell their games and to get the funding some of them like were really struggling some of them had to shut down which is super sad and so like yeah. good on the guys for like making this wholesome direct uh to start with it just shows like there are there is a world of smaller developers out there who like are willing to band together for like the good of the the com uh the common good uh, yeah. for this yeah it was super super cool and i want to see it's, something it's like nice, this it's a nice next balance year. yeah from all those triple a games and you're like i want something small fun light yeah. yeah and uh the guys that 
uh, the Twitter account, the Wholesome Games Twitter account, put out a statement before this, and then they mentioned like the reason we wanted to like make this about wholesome games is because there's a perception in the industry that to have your game be taken seriously, you know, it needs to have these dark themes. It needs to be a God of War. It needs to be a Last of Us. It needs to deal mm-hmm. with the darker aspects of humanity. And they want to change that perception. They were like, no, games that make you feel cozy, games that like just put out like the best of humanity and the best uh, like of the emotions within us, like they can be on the same level as some of those bigger games. Yeah. So like very good on them. It's, it's it was a really cool thing to see. Uh, I, agree. I, I think so. I really want it more from Chicory Man, but I guess I'll have to wait on that. <laughs> yeah, that I was hoping they would give more to that one too, because I forgot what it was until we started watching the trailer and I was like, Oh yeah, I remember this game. Yeah. Uh um, over as quickly as it came. Exactly. Yeah. Garden Story was pretty much the only one I think that got like a release window. It's October twenty twenty and it looked kinda cool. Uh it was mm-hmm. the one where it was the pixel art style which doesn't help because there were a lot of pixel art games there but you play as like the little purple fruit and you're going around like saving this garden it looks cool oh um, that... I, I actually played the demo to that oh. um couple summer fests ago or not summer fest uh at some point with the steam game fest um it was a little bit slower than I wanted it to be, so hopefully it'll be a little bit better better paced than the demo. Um, but yeah, it was cute. The mm-hmm. art style was very adorable. I also love that the grape's name was Concord. Yeah. I thought mm-hmm. that was like, I see what you did there. <sighs> I mm-hmm. <see>. Concord grapes. <laughs> I hope every name's going to be a pun. Yeah, way. I want that. That'd be great. Hopefully so. Yeah. It would be grape. <laughs> few more games I want to touch on before we leave. Uh, Rainy Days, was, or sorry, Rainy Season is something we knew about before we were coming in here. And it was like, again, very, very short, but like you sort of got the idea. It was like a cool inter- interaction between this like monster and this little kid. That was neat. Yeah. Um, what was the other one? Uh, oh, the the one where he plays a little mouse in the French village talking to like the electricity. Yeah. It was, I can't pronounce the rules. You may be able to like, Depanier not turn <laughs> or something oh, like that. that was the that was by the same developer there's um, the spirit in the mouse the spirit in the mouse is the one that you're thinking of oh yes uh, okay. Dipanel Nocturne is is the one where you're out shopping for uh, a gift. gift right that was another one i wanted to touch on for sure that yeah. that seemed like a first of all it seemed like a john and rose game <laughs> most yeah. of these games look like that let's be honest <laughs> But I love games that do like drop you into like a, a scenario where you're not exactly sure what you need to do, but y- yeah. you just have yeah. to run forward in a way and just like yeah. improvise. Dude. Um, yeah. Uh, anything else you guys want to touch on before we, we close off here? I think that's, that's all that I had. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Quickly, we before we end the show, I don't want to end without mentioning that um, as of today, we have a podcast that's available what? to the public at large. Uh, what? Let me switch over so I can show the people here. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple. We're still waiting on Google, but it's on YouTube as well, our YouTube channel. It's called Play Date. It's our uh, monthly discussion where we talk about video games. Uh, we have one episode out currently. It's me, John, and Rose going over what we've played in April. Uh, mostly talking about Animal Crossing, but we also talk about yeah. games like The Messenger, Crash Team Racing, I pestered John about that a lot. Um, yes, that did happen. Yeah, and uh, I think it's really good. I think it's, it's something like I've been wanting to make for a long time is like gaming podcasts, something I listen to on the regular. And so I have a lot mm. of like love for them and a lot of inspiration to draw from. And uh, like having been able to sit down with you guys on like a monthly basis and talk about like what's piqued your interest and, and what's been uh, like fascinating to you is, is, is super cool to do. And uh, yeah. Hopefully we're recording the second episode sometime this week with Keith and Tim. Uh, we'll be talking about things like Final Fantasy VII, Persona 5 Royal, and Man Eater. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, we'll be able to keep doing this every month. And yeah, yeah it's, it's been great so far. Go yeah. check it out. Uh, I'll tweet out the links to all the podcast services and where you can find them uh, on the Playhouse account in a bit. But yeah. Uh, that's it for us today for the Wholesome Direct. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back with the Last of Us State of Play. 
I forget what time it's at, if anyone remembers. I think it's 3 p.m. Uh, your time in Dallas. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 3 p.m. Central. Central. So that'll be 9 p.m. for you. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, so yeah, we'll be back with that. Eager to see what that has to offer. And yeah. I guess I should pull up that trailer that dropped like two weeks ago that I haven't looked at. Oh, yeah. I was I... just like, you know what? I, I want to stay away. I don't want to say anything. Anymore. But now, if we weren't doing a reaction stream, I would not have watched that state of oh, play yeah. tomorrow because um... I am on media blackout, or at least I tried mm -hmm. to be, and I haven't watched that yeah. trailer either. But yeah, we'll we'll just have to mm -hmm. to chat. Have to do that now and just be like, you be ready for tomorrow. So yeah, that'll be fun. Can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you guys then tomorrow. Until then. Have a good one. Stay wholesome. Bye.